One of the other ways that atrial fibrillation can present is a lack of symptoms. And the problem that that creates is if you don't know you have the arrhythmia, you don't seek medical attention. And so what happens is people go on with their lives and only years later present to their physicians, now we have a problem, okay? Because the atrial fibrillation has been going on a long time. It's classically more difficult to treat and, um, and we have less options. Atrial fibrillation, if left unchecked, can also damage the heart itself. So for example, someone has um, their heart squeezes normally and over time, if they're in atrial fibrillation, their heart starts to get weaker and weaker and weaker. It's as if they had a huge heart attack, but they didn't, of course. They just have the atrial fibrillation, and what that's done to their heart over time is damage it globally. And then they have a whole new set of symptoms, such as shortness of breath, you know, heart failure symptoms, symptoms that you would see possibly in someone that had a heart attack.